world, there are people who think that I am a B I C T H and in there or <gasps> it's heels in the building. Sit down, relax, baby. Let me take you on a ride. Sit down, relax, baby. Let me take you on a ride. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to my roller. my youtube channel my name is Sipo Sami or Sami if you would like and if you're a returning subscriber hey thank you so much for coming back in today's video guys I'm gonna be telling you guys 20 things that I learned in 2020 guys this year has been a lot it has been a lot I feel like 2020 just shook us <laughs> it just shook the whole world and yeah, in as much as a lot of bad things happened, some good things also happened. You know, it was just like a year with just like some mix. It was just, you know, and I'm just here to just like reflect and share with you guys some of the things that I learned in 2020. But before we get into that, we're gonna get into this hair. You guys can see that I have this new hair on and I'm so, so freaking obsessed, guys. I love this hair so much. Can you guys see the inches? Woo, babes. This video is sponsored by Slow Hair and I'm gonna get into all the details of the hair just now. But before we get into that, you guys know the drill. I need you guys to hit that subscribe button. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you click the little bell right next so that you get a notification every time I post. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Today's video is sponsored by Slow Hair and just look at their packaging. Guys, it comes in a whole gift box bag i was shook i've honestly never received anything like this from a hair company and just look at that box doesn't it look like a ps5 i know i was shook it's so 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 pretty you guys and if you open it you guys can see their details right there that's their website and the hair comes in this cute little white satin bag they included two crocodile clips and a wig cap so if you open that's the hair you guys this is a 26 inch brazilian wig with a 13 by 4 lace front they actually did the color customization you guys can see it has two pins in the middle one in the front and one in the back but actually my girl stacy benz did the customization of this wig she added that elastic band she plucked the frontal you guys she tinted the roots as you guys can see it looks so so stunning like she does the things if stacy is not customizing your wigs sweetie what are you doing i'm gonna leave stacy's details in the description box if you are in china make sure you get in touch with her if you want your wigs to look like this okay so yeah guys i just went on ahead and i cut the lace and then i just used my got to be spray to lay down my frontal that's one thing i love about how stacy customizes my wigs i can wear them glueless which is pretty cool so i just finished laying my frontal i'm gonna go ahead and straighten my hair while i tell you guys the 20 things that i learned in 2020 i'm gonna be using this serum on my hair so the first thing that I learned in 2020 was self-care. Giving myself self-love, taking care of myself. So I will define self-care as the intentional steps that you will take, big or small, to improve your physical and mental health. In 2020, I made conscious efforts to take care of myself, guys. You guys know I started working out. I never used to work out before. I started working out. I started eating healthy. I was taking care of my skin. Like literally after the lockdown, it's something that I really learned and it just like improved me as a person. I realized that when I feel good and when I take care of myself, I not only become a better person for myself, but I become a better friend. I become a better sister. I become a better partner. I just become a better person to the people around me you need to remove the toxicity in your life in order to make room for new goodness i think when 20 when 2019 ended i kind of just like broke off all a lot of like relationships 
friendships and just like connections that were not serving me that was really a blessing in disguise because then think about it this way you're moving into a new house okay this is you walking into a new year but you're moving into a house that already has like junk and stuff in it what do you do if you if you're gonna move into a new house you need to remove all the stuff you need to clean it out and then bring in new things right it's the same thing guys as you go into the new year you need to just like remove everything like sit down and actually reflect on all the things like all the toxic things it can be things within yourself you know all the toxic traits that you have all the bad you know friendships all the bad habits everything bad and toxic about yourself or about your life you need to clean that out in order to make room for new things so yeah i really learned that at the beginning of 2020 and trust me guys it really helped my year because a lot of good things happened to me in 2020 in as much as it was not the best year a lot of good things did happen to me and i'm really really grateful for that healing guys healing is so 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 important like i healed from a lot of things that i didn't even know i needed to heal from it can be things you know from your past from your childhood things from your past relationships things from from just your past you need to deal with things i cannot stress this healing is so important make sure you heal from your past otherwise you are still going to deal with that somewhere in the future and when it hits you it's really going to hit you hard so you need to deal with all your trauma deal with things as soon as you can before it comes back to bite you can do anything that you want to do you can do absolutely anything that you set your mind to as long as you work for it ask god for it and make sure you work for it be consistent that's one thing i learned guys like and not only did i learn this in 2020 it's something that i've actually learned in my life that i can do all things through christ who strengthens me period period never limit yourself you can do anything just make sure that you work for it and you are consistent consistent see consistency is key 2020 taught me to be consistent like if you want something you need to be consistent a good example is here on my youtube channel guys 2020 i was really really consistent and my youtube channel grew i've spoken about this before but like one of my goals in 2020 was to get my channel to 20,000 subscribers that was the goal that i wrote down for myself I told myself that i was going to be consistent in making content i told myself i was going to try and upload at least once a week and i did that i am proud to say that in 2020 i managed to upload a video at least once every week sometimes i did three times a week and it was very rewarding because not only did i get to my goal it was doubled you know i'm almost on 50,000 subscribers and i really thank god for that thank you guys so much for actually subscribing to my channel but my point is i really learned that whatever it is that you want to do you need to be consistent i was consistent with my skincare in 2020 and my skin improved so much i think patience was like a big lesson for most of us from us being just in the house for such a long time in the lockdown and not knowing when it's gonna end yo if you do not learn to be patient from that then eh, eh, i don't know because my patience was definitely tested guys but also just like in life in general there's so many things guys and most of us had plans for 2020 but you just had to wait a lot of our plans were just put on pause and some of us are still waiting <laughs> till this day you know which also just reinforces the point that sometimes my plans are not god's plans you know i can plan certain things but if it's not in god's plan then it's not gonna happen like that he knows the plans that he has for you and whatever you do make sure that in whatever you ask god for you have to know that his plan before yours his will be done okay so yeah even some of the things some of the plans that i had for myself a lot of the things that i wanted to happen god exceeded most of those things and that's that just taught me that okay you know what his plans before mine period stop comparing myself to nobody because there can only be one siposami oh my gosh this one was hard and it's something that i'm still learning i think it's a toxic trait and sometimes it's inevitable i tend to compare myself a lot to people but i'm learning and i've learned in 2020 that sometimes you don't need to compare yourself because we're all different we're all unique like and one thing that i learned is 
I can be comparing myself to someone who's comparing themselves to me, you know? I've compared myself to certain people who've also come and told me that they were comparing themselves to me. So I just learned that, you know what? We are all different and life is not a race. It's a journey, okay? My journey is different from her journey. Her journey is different from his journey. We're all in our own separate lanes, you know? And just like focus on you because the moment you're, you you want to try and focus on someone else, you're going to lose sight of what you are doing. And when you lose sight of what, what you are doing, then what's the point? You're focusing on someone else who's doing Something. The moment I, I, I got myself together and told myself, you know what, Sammy, stop stop doing that. You know, you are you and you cannot be that person. The moment I started focusing on myself is when I actually started seeing growth. Mind your business, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. It's greener where you water it. So water your own garden and watch it bloom. Struggles are what give your character texture. Nobody likes to struggle, okay? None of us want to struggle, but sometimes it is necessary to struggle because life is not smooth. Life is not just like this. It has to be like that so that it has meaning. Imagine if life was just like that. Life would be boring, okay? Struggles will be there. You are you are going to face struggles. That is life. It is what it is, you know? So you need to embrace those struggles and just, you know, come to terms with the fact that struggles are what make us us. What people think of me has absolutely nothing to do with me. <sighs> oh my gosh. Literally, what people think of you has nothing to do with you. I will tell you that in this world, there are people who think that I am a B-I-C-T-H in that order. The people who think that I am ugly, I'm a bad person, or I'm mean, or I'm a horrible person. I don't know, there are people who think that, but guess what? There are also people who think that I am a great person, I have a big heart. There are people who think that I'm sweet, I'm beautiful, I'm inspiring, all of that. I appreciate all the love and all the comments, all the, you know, all the good vibes that most of you usually give me on the channel. I think I receive a lot of love on my channel, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, I receive a lot of hate or whatever. I actually don't. Thank God for that. I don't receive a lot of hate comments, but I do get some. <laughs> the hate will be there. And this is something that I've learned and I've just accepted that there are people, they're just people out there who never appreciate anything good. They're just people out there who are just gonna think what they think. People's perception of you are projections of themselves. So if you find someone who's gonna come and think that, oh my gosh, Sammy, you're so ugly. Or, oh my gosh, Sammy, you're so mean or whatever. It's just a projection of themselves. None of that has anything to do with me. And you should know who you are so that you are not defined by what people think about you. Which leads me to my next point you need to spread love guys it's so important to spread love like you don't know what people are going through you know someone can come to you and say all these bad things and like i said that's just projection you know they're projecting th what they are like you know inside of them but which is why i need i'm here to spread love guys you guys know this on my channel it's good vibes only i'm here to spread good vibes i'm here to spread peace love and light okay the greatest commandment is love after all so yeah you never know what you know the next person is going through you do your part spread love spread light spread happiness and also never stop being a good person because of bad people okay you do you spread love be a nice person even if people are gonna be mean to you don't don't try and like you know want to be revenging or whatever just you do your part you be a good person spread love spread good vibes don't make people turn you into them because if you are here and someone is there someone lower than you is trying to bring you down and if you entertain that you literally bring yourself down to their level don't do that don't do that and that was me at some point like you say something to me to <laughs> pedirana you know i was really gonna come and you know say out my two cents but i just learned that sometimes it's not necessary you know everything doesn't need my reaction couldn't pay me enough to react sweetie <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work guys collaborating with people is one of the best gifts that we have as human beings in 2020 i learned that it's good to actually collaborate with people find people to work with in whatever projects that you may have whatever it is that you want to achieve you know that saying that if you want to go fast go alone but if you want to go far 
go with others you will never know what you can learn from people which leads me to my next point never look down on anyone oh my gosh you guys do not look down on anyone i tell you that this year i learned so much from people that i would not even ever have expected that they would teach me certain things you know i never expected that i would get so much from certain people honestly never look down on anyone because it can be that person that you're looking down upon who's gonna make that change that big difference in your life i'm just gonna put a little bit of foundation on my lace so that it blends but yeah and then I think the most important lesson, it should probably have been first, the most important lesson that I learned in 2020 was to cherish life. 2020 literally put the world on pause and it forced us all to just like sit down and reflect and just, just be thankful for life, just be grateful for each and every single blessing that we have. So many lives were lost in 2020 guys. like. I lost family you know I know I have friends who lost family I have friends who lost friends it was just a bad year for most people I think after 2020 I will never not be grateful again no hey hmm, I will never not be grateful like 2020 re really taught me to be grateful and just like to appreciate to just cherish the gift of life and also just to be present you know to just live in the moment to be present you know life is short guys literally tell the people that you love that you love them because tomorrow they can wake up and they're not there you know or with the whole death of like Janimbi, Moana and just that accident that, that accident really shook me guys I did not know those people in person even just with like Kobe and Gigi it's, it's just a reminder that life is so short and life can end at any freaking point any time so just like be grateful live in the moment and just remember that tomorrow is not promised live every day like it's your freaking last you know do everything that you you aspire to do and just like be happy be a happy person don't be beefing with people don't be like just don't be doing things that you're gonna regret basically because you can if you die even die today or today they just drop dead and then the last and i think one of the most important things that 2020 has has taught me especially in my spiritual life is just to know god for yourself i don't know if you guys were following you know the whole series on like jackie pamote's life but you know from all those things i just learned to just know god for yourself like you should have your own personal relationship with jesus have your own personal work work on your own personal spiritual life don't tell don't let anybody try to convince you otherwise make conscious efforts to build a personal relationship with god to build a personal you know to build your personal spiritual life and yeah guys you need to know jesus repent be born again and yeah so that is it and my hair is laid i'm just gonna show you real quick how bomb this hair is love love this hair so so much this is officially my favorite wig comment down below let me know what you guys think but a big 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 shout out to slow hair for sponsoring today's video make sure you guys check them out clearly they have really bomb hair like they can take all my money okay they can take all my money absolutely love this hair i'm gonna leave a discount code right here on the screen so that you can get you some money off your hair from slove anyway guys we've come to the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys also learned in 2020 i want you guys to leave a comment down below what are some of the things that you guys learned in 2020 how was 2020 for you i just want you know let's keep the conversation going down in the comment section below what are some of the things that you're hoping for in 2021 and what are some of the things that you are leaving in 2020 what are some of the things that you are carrying to 2021 if there are any let me know in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you guys in my next video be safe you guys new year's eve drink responsibly and just like 
take a moment to just sit down, reflect, and just, you know, pray to God. Thank God that he has taken you through from 2020 all the way into 2021. I love you guys, and I wish you guys a happy new year. Bye.